welcome back let's check in on y'all girl okay that's from the block uh, of brooklyn i think that's where she's she from j-lo welcome j-lo to the show hey jennifer how you doing sis welcome back jay what's going on with you and ben okay now listen i mean ben seemed like he was miserable when he was married to you then he got so he, you filed a divorce he seemed like he was going through a midlife crisis and then just last week we saw you over there talking to matt damon i guess you wanted to go to his best friend and tell him to talk some sense into your his homeboy uh i guess he did because honey articles now are trending saying that you and ben are being cozy okay hugging up on each other while y'all are out doing things with the children now that's good i mean nobody's wishing for you guys to split up if you if, i mean if you love him and he love you but he was over there whining and crying every time we saw him with you so we like just give just let him go let him go because you don't want to hold him to a cry baby well he seemed like he's been acting like he's been happy being around you now i don't know what games y'all over there playing so that's why we called you to the show today because we're going to get to the bottom of it honey you want us to be uh involved in the uh the realest love story of all time and so now we involved okay so let's go ahead and pull these cards and see what's going on with with your love life okay yeah let's go ahead and do that real fast real quick as i'm sure some people there's a few people that want to know if not many honey but we're gonna go ahead and do it so let's cut the cards and see what's the energy for Jennifer Lopez love life. All right, let's put the cards right here. Now, now let's see what's the overall energy that what she's going through right now when it comes to her love life. And that is, okay, she won't love. And we all know that. She's showing up as the queen of cups. She says, she, club, I mean, the, <laughs> the queen of cups. Now she says she got so much love to give. She got so much love to share. She want to pour her love all over somebody. Hopefully it's Ben because we know that she really did love Ben back in the day and she got him back 20 years later like a shunty and she said she wanted to make it work. She really do. Now she said that if she got to pour a cup of wine for him to drink out of or something like that, I guess she will because she got a cup here that's open, that's available. But you know, she wishes that she can just give him love but it's like girl, you don't want to there and start a, a, a liquor or a wine company and you think that that man not going to want to try it? Okay, he do. But she got her cups here, and so her cup is, is fulfilled. And she said that she want to love and give love and receive love. She said she's very stable right now, but she's in her fifi. She's in her feelings and her emotions. She really is trying to turn away from things that are more material and turn more towards uh, giving love and receiving love. And she said she got a cup to give. She just want to know who wants the cup. And that's a good question, Jim Jennifer. So hopefully we can find out who wants the cup. So let's see. Now, what's in her past that's keeping her from loving or what is her past? Okay, girl, it was options, honey. She probably thought she was all that and, and more, all that in the bag of chips. So it seems like because of her options that she had back in the day, you know, or, or maybe somebody was a wish fulfillment. She had all everything that she wanted in life, career, when it comes to acting, singing. You know, television shows. She was doing it all back in the day. Everybody wanted to be with her, honey. Back in the day, they used to say that she had one of the biggest uh, bottoms back in the day. And now, that little bottom right now that she tried to swing it and put it all in your face like Jennifer is nothing compared to the BBL girls and all the big booties in the world. Because your booties do not be rocking everywhere, baby. It barely be rocking. It barely be moving. But that's no disrespect to you, girl. Because you was telling people leave your uh, bottom alone back in the day. Because you, you said that your butt wasn't the biggest butt ever seen. But clearly people were delusional back in the 90s. Okay. So let's just leave them back there. But right now, even though the 90s was one of the best times. But not for booties. I don't think girls wanted booties back then. But, you know, they want them now. But anyway. But we got the nine of cups here. And she said she got everything that's a wish fulfillment. And only one thing is missing. And it's that ultimate love in her life. And a lot of people can relate to that because you go to school you get your education you got your beautiful house you got everything and Jennifer already have kids so it's not like she want kids right now but there's a lot of people women that do that have everything success and don't have that love but it's like girl it's hard to find a man to love babe they said the girl's been going out to the woods loving on bears that's what they said they'd rather do but she said she she need that fulfillment okay and she always been wanting it ever since in her past that's what's driving her is that one cup to have to have it all right now what's going to be in her what's going to be her future 
Okay. Okay, so the magician card. Girl, listen. Okay, you over here showing up as a magician. You're trying to manifest something. And that's nothing wrong with manifesting. But Jennifer, the last couple of readings I was doing on um, Ben, it felt like Ben was up on some type of love spell that you could have possibly put on him. Okay, now stop with the love spells, girl. Let people fall in love with you naturally because you see they be breaking those spells, honey. They be, they be pulling off. They be leaving. So let's see what's the challenge for you. What's, what's stopping you from finding this love? Oh, girl, we got the self-sabotage with the devil energy. Now, is Jennifer this devil? Or is there a devil that's in her energy? Or, again, it's, it could be her being obsessed with the people. Her having some type of addiction. It could be some, it's some type of internal struggle that she may be having here with the devil card. That's her challenge when it comes to love. And so, girl, you may not be praying to the right God. Girl, clearly, if you're praying to the devil, honey, you're not going to keep this love. I don't think that's how the devil works. And so, it's something within you, honey, that is devilish, that's conniving, deceitful. And you need to figure that out, girl, because in order for you to have this love fulfillment, people got to want to be around you at night. And honey, Ben said that honey, he woke up several times in my reading. This is what my reading said allegedly. That he woke up several times where you dressed like a witch, honey. You over there manifesting stuff. So I don't know who you over there praying to or whatever. You know, pray to whoever you want to. But not everybody going to resonate with that energy. You got to find somebody that resonates with your energy. And I think Diddy was resonating with your energy, but you thought you was too good for him. Okay. So, yeah, you got some internal issues here. You got that devil energy. And it seems like with this devil energy, devil energy is about getting whatever you need by any means necessary. Which means if you got to sell your soul to get material gain, you'll do it. If you got to do some dark energy stuff, the steal, lie, uh, you know, you know, go after that. If you'll do all that type of stuff to get what you want on a material level, I don't think love worked that way. And you may be able to attract the person. You may, with you know, you're over there manifesting and pulling the person to you. But they don't stay. I don't think nothing that the devil give you is something that you're going to keep for forever. I think it, he come back to collect and take it all from you. Along with your sanity, your mental, your, your everything. Your house. He'll take everything that you love away from you. And it seems like that's what's hindering you is this devil energy. Now let's see what's in your subconscious that you may not be aware of that's stopping you from finding love. And that's your stardom, girl. The star card. Now, the star card is like you trying to balance things out here. Just like with the queen of cups here. You, you're trying to turn away from the um, physical and focus more on your emotional. But not with this devil riding your back. And with the star card here. And you got a lot of major arcanas here. We got the, So far, we already got three major arcanas. With the magician, with the devil, and the star. Which is three major events so far. Now, in your subconscious, you probably always want to be a star, but your stardom, the people that follow you, the, the fame that you have may be stopping you from finding love. At least that's what Ben said, and that's what these cards are showing. So, in your subconscious, you think your stardom is like, well, I got money. I got this. Why, you know, who wouldn't want me? I got a nice body. I take care of myself. Who wouldn't want me? Well, they said um, subconsciously, it's something about your stardom that's stopping you, the star card. You being in the public eye, you being seen, you out there, can you balance out your real life with your work life for real, for real? I mean, I don't know. And then they probably say you be showing too much of your body too. You're doing too much. And you feel like you're trying to pour into both of them, but one is lacking here. Okay. So one could possibly be lacking here and you're not all the way in when it comes to your emotions. You don't go all the way in. You, you just like tip the iceberg you're the tip of the iceberg you don't go deep you're not deep that's what they're saying girl you kind of shallow and that's why this this devil energy is here you very uh surface with maybe even your conversation maybe with the things you do so if you're not deep enough it's the deepness that keep people okay and i don't know girl i, I don't know but on the subconscious honey that you're aware of Okay, are you aware of the Ten of Swords? Yeah, you are. You aware of relationships being over, uh, relationships dying fast. You you are very aware of you know the swords being stuck in your back when it comes to love. So yeah, you're aware of that. You just don't understand why. You don't think that it's had anything to do with your your subconscious, which means this star card and this devil energy, this challenge here. 
because you do anything to try to manifest what you want and you may be able to do so but this devil energy in the middle of it all is a challenge to you now let's see what's your attitude towards love what's your attitude your feelings you're frustrated okay i get it i get it sis i'll be frustrated too the truth of the matter is that whenever you hear the truth it frustrates you and they probably tell you you're just shallow you're superficial you know you're materialistic no i'm not man i'll, I'll wear my hair in the ponytail it's not a big deal you know, I wear my hair just like I used to wear my hair from Jenny from the block. When I was at the block, I wear my hair all rough and all over my head. It's like, girl, nobody want to have a nappy head woman. So that's not winning either. Jennifer, you have to dig, dig deeper, sis. Okay? I'm sorry, baby. Okay? You got to dig deeper. So you frustrated. The people are frustrated. And you don't know what to do because when the truth comes out, you can't handle it. Okay, and then you probably even be, you know, you're trying to manifest the truth. You want to hear the truth. And then when it comes, it leaves you very frustrated. And so whenever the, tr the truth uh, shows itself, you don't be ready for it. You don't be ready for it at all. Now, let's see what's around you in your environment. The people around you, how are they um, affecting your love life? Let's see. Oh, girl, you feel, uh, it feels like the energy around you. The people around you, maybe the yes people and stuff like that. I see um, the people around you feeling bound and gagged. So I don't know if they got NDAs. They can't even speak about what's really going on with you. Yeah, with this devil energy. I don't, I feel like at this point what you see with Jennifer is not what you get behind closed doors at all. And I definitely wouldn't want to be with her with this devil energy. Her thinking that she's such this stardom, you know. she got, She's such a, a, a superficial person. But deep within is this dark energy that's deep within her. And it's very much, she's aware of it. It's not like she's not aware of it. She's aware of it with the Ten of Swords. She knows that it's causing an end to her relationship. But yet she still got all these swords around her. And with this Eight of Swords, it's like the people around her may, in her environment may be feeling entrapped. Even though they can leave, all you got to do is give your resignation and leave. You got to give your two-week notice and leave. But I guess they feel like, where else I'm going to go? What else I'm going to do? And I can't speak of her. Well, no, you don't need to speak about that lady's life. Let her speak about her own life. But again, being entrapped by the truth of her. People people feel like when they get in her energy, they stuck. Feel like they in prison. So she got a lot of this dark devil energy around her. And she don't mind being with this magician pulling out that sword and using it. She can use at, at any time being a magician. She can use any one of these um, these suits to, to benefit her. She got whatever she needs to know how to manifest it. Because she got this dark energy. This internal energy that's within her. That she pulls on. And I feel like people don't like that. You know, people don't want to be around that. You know, you don't, I don't want to be around somebody who thinks they know it all. But yet you're not deep as a pun you're not even deep as a, a puddle and you think you know everything i don't want to be around i wouldn't want to be around that now what are her hopes and fears let's see okay so it's a six of cups which means she's hoping to have a happy life and um but it also can be a fear of not being able to be fulfilled when it comes to something from her past that she want to bring into the future she want she romanticizing her relationship with ben and I feel like it's a fear that it won't be some, as romantic or as she imagined it to be. And it's not. It's not showing that being given her real life, you know, trailer park type of energy. And baby, she ain't used to that. She ain't used to that with this uh, queen energy. And I don't understand why he giving it out like he ain't got no money to spend. But he ain't spending no money like that. He ain't spending no money on that house that she, that they was so-called supposed to be getting. He didn't want to do none of that. Now, again, with the Six of Cups, the Six of Cups speaks about nostalgia, romanticizing something from the past, something from her childhood. It could be also evolving around children. So maybe she don't want her children to see her single. That could be a fear. Uh, maybe she feel like she's not giving her kids what they want. I've seen her kids. No, dis no disrespect to the kids, but they do seem like they're missing something. It seems like they've probably been raised by several nannies who constantly quitting, leaving them, and then... I don't. I feel like they lost a little bit. Uh, you know, if they had a stable mother and father or a stable situation, 
I'm not saying they don't have a beautiful home, but something stable so they can find their identity. They don't have to be stressed and worried. Because some kids, when you see kids doing their little emo stage or uh, some kids wearing hoodies all the time, or you wear, or you see kids that, now all kids are trying to find themselves, but when you have a stable home, you have a nice surrounding, a nice environment where you can try different things, but each thing that they try, it seemed like it would fit them, at least in that period, in that moment. But it seemed like with her kids, they seemed lost. And for them to have a rich mama as she is, you, you would think that they'd be more stable. Now, I'm sure their home is beautiful, but the thing about it is, do they really have her? Do they really have the support and the love from her? So that could also be a fear that, you know, that she wasn't there for her kids properly. It's like you're too busy trying to find love in all the wrong places. Girl, you need to focus on yourself. Because I don't see no cup showing that you're trying to focus on yourself. You're trying to give your cup to somebody. And then now uh, your hopes and fears is that you could possibly have not saved enough cups and given it to your children. Or you hope that you can move forward and start to focus more time on your children. Because I do see you and Ben, every time you with Ben, Ben doing something with his kids. And I'll be seeing you just going to do stuff with Ben and his kids. But where are your kids? Girl, you need to get your life together. You need to focus on your children, okay, while you still got time to focus on them and pour into them. Stop trying to pour into everybody else uh, or a man. Pour into your children, girl, because that's one thing we barely see you with. And then when your kids are with you, it seems like they're out of place when it comes to you. So, you know, no disrespect, no disrespect to your children. I just noticed that. I just noticed that. So, I just feel like you would pour into your kids more, girl. Okay? Now, what's going to be the outcome of her relationship and her love life? It's going to be, girl, she's going to be by herself with the ace of, with the page of one. She's going to have to start over and find herself. She's going to have to start over with new opportunity and the opportunity, you know, find a new passion um, within yourself and for yourself, girl. You know, you need to probably go back and, and heal the uh, inner child that's within you, the inner female that's within you that always wanted to be a star. But did you nourish her? Because I don't think you nourish that young lady that's within you, just like I don't think you nourish your children like you should. And and that's okay. I mean, that's not too uncommon because a lot of mothers, especially if they single mothers, I know your kids have a father, but, you know, you guys divorce. Sometimes single mothers have to work so much and they provide a nice beautiful home for their children but it's like but the children would rather have you be present you be around you be supportive so that they can feel secure in where they stand wherever they standing when they don't have that they are insecure and then the world the children of kid children i mean the children around them start to tell them who they are and then now the kid is lost and then when you come in that one time uh once a month or once a week whenever you do come in like oh no you're beautiful you're beautiful they're just jealous that's not adequate enough that's not enough you got to pour into your kids so much that when somebody else try to break them down it would not take a big effect on them because i mean words still hurt you know even if you hear it one time words can be hurtful but when you have security you have a stable foundation it's hard for somebody to come in and just really throw you off your game 100 percent, 100 percent. now they can't knock you you know make you stumble a little bit but you know if your mom is there to give you words of encouragement support and to give you something to stand on solidly, you can come back stronger and know that, you know, you'll get through the issue. So uh, I do see an uh, issue here with her children that she's have fear of. It's like, girl, just go pick them up, baby. Just spend some time with them, okay? Stop hanging with Ben and his kids. Or you can still hang with Ben and his kids, but have your kids too. Your kids be walking in the background, baby, on their phones. On their... It's like, girl, pull the kids in. Make them feel included. And then we got the page of ones. Include your inner child. Go back and find your inner child and love on it a little bit, okay? Show some passion towards it, towards your inner child. Because I still feel like it's the little girl within you that's operating as a grown woman. And for the future, if you continue to do that, you can, you're can you going to continue to feel alone and be alone. Even though the page of ones is out there starting over with new beginnings, a fresh start with fresh eyes. You know, it's a possibility that you can start over and, you know, and do things freshly, girl, with, you know. But I hope you can focus on your daughters and your son or, you know, I think you got a daughter and a son. 
I don't know, girl. I didn't know what your kids was when I saw them. I didn't know if they were boys, girls, two boys, one boy. I didn't know, girl. Okay, so I said pour into your children, please, so they can find out who they are. Because right now they're in a time of, of seeking. And they need you. They need you. So that's going to be the energy, honey. Because right now, you know, she can't find love because she got that devil energy. That devil energy rules her world. And stardom. Materialistic things. Not going too deep. And then the people around her can't even speak that real truth to her because the truth gonna hurt her. And the one person that can speak the truth to her, she don't really want to hear it. She get frustrated, and she feel like she got everything, all the cups except that cup of love. And it's like, girl, focus on your children too, because they want some cups too. So that's gonna be the reading for Miss Jennifer Lopez, honey. When it comes to her love life, it's gonna constantly be over and dead, and uh, ending gonna always be coming until she clear up some of this dark energy she do have a couple of major arcanas here again it's the three major arcanas I, I mentioned earlier with just magician the devil and the star card now again we know that she's su successful well she kind of was you know her last concert didn't sell that good but you know I think that stuff needs to come to an end so that she can focus on herself you know heal her the end of the young girl that's within her and who who is the young girl because the people say the young girl that's within you ain't from the block so girl go find out where that girl from and, and baby and go hug her and tell her you love her and then go tell your children that you love them and focus on those two okay all right girl so that's gonna be the reading girl hope you enjoyed it catch me on the next one i'll talk to you later bye